Um, Don't worry it'll. About it. Okay, it's time consuming. It'll probably take Harder. me another ten minutes to put them all in. We're live. We are at. We are live. I am so sorry. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> Payback. <laughs> That's what I got from our DM. I, I didn't even. Hello, viewers. I'm so fucking tired. It's gonna be a good one tonight, folks. It's gonna be real good. It's been a week, y'all. Yeah, for reals. For reals, though. Oh, let's not. Let's. We won't. Yeah. Awesome. Hello, friends. Um, of ladies and gentlemen, Kara, I'm gonna start this out. We're just gonna go for it. Um, <laughs> welcome to Cocktail Hour, um, where I go and rewatch all of the episodes that we're gonna talk about, and then ask the cast and our lovely DM questions. <sighs> Hello. Okay. So this, <laughs> I'm winging it, guys. I'm winging it. So this she Cocktail got Hour. She got this cocktail hour, we are going to go over two episodes. We're going over episode three and episode four. Because we, you know, skipped a cocktail hour due to the holidays. Yeah. And then the next cocktail hour, we will be going over five and six. And that should um, catch us up to where we will be for the next cocktail hour. Yeah. <sighs> All right, everyone. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Oh, I can also do my spiel if you want regarding our schedule and our social media. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be extemporaneous because I don't have my document up in front of me. So here we go. Uh, Ladies and Gentle Dice uh, airs every other Sunday at 7 p.m. No, 4 p.m. Pacific. See, I told you this is going to be great. Go for it. Um, and then we, so that's live on Twitch on Sundays at 4 p.m. Pacific. And then we upload each episode on YouTube on Monday mornings after that. We also replay them on Wednesdays on Twitch at 7 p.m. Pacific, right? That's the one that's 7 p.m. Tell me I'm correct. Oh, God. Yes. Okay. Fabulous. Um, please follow us on the social medias. We're at Ladies and Gentle Dice everywhere except Twitter where we are at Gentle Dice. Um, you can catch up on our uh, past episodes on YouTube any old time. And I think that's it. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you, Rox. Thanks, Rox. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. So, episode three, where we had just got done talking to Billiam, and we went across the bridge into the main city. Um, We visited the tower. And that's where I believe we ended episode three. We went in, yeah. Mm-hmm. So some just giving you a very basic rundown of what we did that episode to maybe try and refresh your brains. Got it? Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 I'm with you. All right. Got my notes. So, do you think it was a good idea to talk to Billiam? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's the player. Oh, well, clarification. Was it a good idea? Like, do we think it was a good idea for our character to talk to him or for the group, somebody in the group to talk to him at all? Uh, We'll go with the somebody from the group at all. Okay. That's, yeah, yeah. I'm fine with yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Fionn should not have gone and tried. That was a no. Mm-mm. That's not her thing. <laughs> okay. And then we, <laughs> I just put this in here because I thought it was funny but I was hoping more people would be in the chat to, like, talk. Does your town have a Bushman? But since most of you are from <laughs> around, oh, you know, California. The, the Bushman discussion. Yeah. Like, right. I've never even heard of that. Anyways. We'll I hadn't. How did I know that was going to be in these questions? Like, I, <laughs> when I was listening to the episode earlier, I was like, somebody's going to say something about this well, Bushman. Like I said, I was hoping that there would be some people in. The yeah, maybe say may, maybe save that for later. Yeah, I mean, we could bring um, it up multiple times. It could be our like, you know, oh, callback could, joke. Oh, you could put that yeah. on Twitter. Is that is that what we're gonna call our fans? Just bush people. Bush. <laughs> <laughs> I guess 
you know, I mean, that is that's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, we could okay. put that on Twitter, though. Have you sure. listened to episode three? Does your town have a Bushman? Perfect. I'm, I'm not writing it down. I don't have any to write with. I got I'm you. I'm thinking it down. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Okay. Steve's. Um, Ben, Michael. Oh my God, <laughs> Keith and Keith and <laughs> it works. It does. So good. <laughs> Made us delicious meat pies. Mm. What is your comfort food? Uh, our character. Or you both? Because that that literally was Fionn's comfort food, like straight up, Aww. spot on. Meat pie. Yeah, lamb, like shepherd's pie. Like, of course, of course. You got a lot of sheep around. You got to eat some of yeah. them sometimes, and they're very yeah. delicious. Sorry to all you um, lovely vegetarians and vegans <laughs> out there. They're kind of delicious. So Do she was very happy. Know. She was very. It was very sentimental. Like she had a very sentimental reaction. I think somebody in the group was worried at first, like that it would be, yeah, that she'd be turned off by eating uh, lamb. But no, it's actually oh, yeah. lamb. home comfort food. Just like just like mom used to make. What about your actual comfort food? Oh man. I mean it's gonna like it's again, it's gonna be something that like my mom makes. Like she used to make this like chicken and rice and leeks like stew. It was really good. Just something something that mom has made is like often at least, you know for some folks. I'm so jealous. It works of that for me. Yeah. yeah, that sounds so good. But I know how to make it now. I can make it for you. Yes. yes. When the world um, is done being on fire. Mm-hmm. My, uh, my comfort food is probably, like, poverty food. <laughs> so, like, Top Ramen gives me a lot of comfort when I've had a bad day. Oh, okay. Okay. That's real. Yeah, That's just, real. like, yeah. microwaving a bowl of ramen. Uh-huh. It makes me feel mm-hmm. real good. Honestly, um, I can feel that. Yeah. I mean, the like the like craft dinner. Uh, I'm in America. Uh, mac and cheese, craft mac and cheese boxes. Like, oh yeah, yeah. totally. Uh-huh. Especially with hot dogs in it. Oh, I love I chopping that. up hot so dogs. Old. I haven't had that. That in is forever. old school. Yeah. Because <laughs> that definitely was a thing I had to eat. Wow. Deuce, mac and cheese with uh, some green beans, like cans of green beans. Great okay. Combo. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I did it for mm-hmm. my nieces, to be honest. I thought it was weird. And then I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is your comfort food? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> but a good thing but that one can do with it. It goes right. together with the mac and cheese, yeah, is what yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. My uh, partner and I have eaten that often, so I, I get it. <laughs> uh, Keithan's comfort food? Um, just a pig. <laughs> <laughs> just a freshly butchered just. boar would be great. <laughs> just freshly butchered something. You Anything. know, just brings the stomach warmth. Should we put like a like a vegan disclaimer on this channel? I feel like we could definitely like offend some people. I'm really sorry, everybody. I mean, Keithan will eat greens. Mm-hmm. He just also likes a freshly murdered thing. I'm not uh, offended. You're good. Um. Also, um. So, ladies of D and D, um, said that their comfort food was probably uh, Korean food. And mm. I feel that in my bones because my grandma, my grandma Im- immigrated here from Korea. I'm, I'm a quarter, so I am, I, so white, <laughs> but I got, um, but she, uh, she made the most, she makes the most delicious japcha and wontons mm. and, uh, wontons are like, if I don't eat wontons on holidays, I get mad. Like I'll get. I'll get grumpy about it. <laughs> uh, for like my personal comfort food, I feel like it kind of varies because I have like multiple comfort foods. It just depends on what I'm currently like 
meeting in life like green curry is one like mm. there's an amazing place that has great green green curry and it brings me joy but then like rice and hamburger with like barbecue sauce also can bring me like great oh joy. yeah like i'm just mm-hmm. i like food if i'm hungry just feed me and it's all okay are you like, a taurus <laughs> No, 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 no. No? Okay. <laughs> I am not, but I enjoy, like, food. I'll take just about anything, as long as it's good. Sandwiches are a fallback. But, sandwiches like, are good. Same. I love sandwiches. Sandwiches are pretty much always delicious, but green curry is definitely one. Uh, a specific type of oatmeal or, like, hamburger that's seasoned just right with applesauce. Yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. It's, what? It weirds everyone out, but it's what? amazing. Yeah, so you do, like a hamburger, and then it needs like just certain like uh, garlic powder, flake, uh, onion flakes, and then, like something else, and it just something about it goes perfect with applesauce. Huh. Well, and you yeah. put applesauce on pork chops. So yeah, I was I just that. gonna say it's that. It's just weird. I, just I got you. That. But it's just it's just the beef. Just oh, the it's beef. something weird about it. Yeah, the beef. Huh. It's probably this ultimate with the sweetness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, but really, I just like food. Like, food's good. Yeah. Hard same. Food's yummy. I'm pretty much the same. I am a big foodie. I will eat anything and everything. Like, you put a medium pizza in front of me, I will eat it. <laughs> um, comfort food is definitely pho. I love it. Ooh. I will eat it every single day. As uh, Chris and I used to work together. And oh, our I Thai food make... place, so great. <laughs> <laughs> I'd make her get, yeah, we'd go Thai or we'd go to the Vietnamese place that was across the street and we'd eat there almost every day. It was ridiculous. Oh. I love pho. brings me a lot of comfort. If I'm feeling sick, I want pho. If I'm feeling sad, I want pho. Um, yeah. That and chocolate. I really love chocolate. Um, um, as far as mm-hmm. gnarl goes... Gnarl is probably for some reason bugs came to mind. I was like, hey, no. we had the cricket like, conversation. Yeah, it's, oh, because, cricket. it's because it's yeah. because of Zagok. <laughs> um, but I feel like it would probably have to be some kind of fruit. I want to say for gnarl, oh, like something we found gnarl. walking around. I love yeah. That. Um. Originally, I was going to make Gnarl a vegetarian when I was creating them, but then when we started playing, I just kind of fell into, ah, no, nah, Gnarl drinks and eats whatever the fuck they want, and they like to cook, so. <laughs> oh, has yeah, that, that come up? Role. That, that they, they like to cook? Yeah, they were yeah. super invested in the meat pies in episode mm-hmm. three, yeah. and they oh, wanted right. to remember exactly on how to make said flavors. That's yes. right, bringing it back. And they've the also kind of gung ho when it came to like breakfast. Yeah, yeah, they want um, to help yeah, with the totally. cooking. Maybe Pam. we're yeah, we're definitely a group of of adventurers that like is breakfast is going to be important for us. I feel like yeah, no, I mean yeah. I made I made breakfast sandwiches canon. Oh yeah, breakfast sandwiches are canon. They're the best, and also in canon, they're the best thing that Tam has ever eaten in his entire tiny oh life. Oh my god, bless him! Yeah, bless him. All his eleven years, twelve years, something oh, like that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Don't ask yeah. me. Some Pre- young, preteen some years. Life. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just work here. <laughs> Tara, what about you and Zenra? Oh, oh, okay. Let's see. Um, for Z, I think it's just all food, just because, you know, they're, well, you guys don't know 100%, but, like, backstory, you know, food Uh could have gotten scarce, Mm -hmm. so it was whenever there was food. That's why you, like, every time they're like, oh, free food? Um, thank you. Just all of it. Um, and then personally? Uh, I guess it depends on what I need comfort on. Like, like there's specific foods that I'll eat for specific feelings. If I'm depressed, <laughs> I want breadsticks. Um, sick, it's egg drop soup every Ooh, time. Yeah. And that's all I want is egg drop soup. Like, yep. I don't know why. It's just it. Um, if I'm sad, pizza or lasagna roll-ups. Okay. It's a lasagna roll up. It's yeah, I've never heard of that. It's, uh, yeah. I is it a Midwest thing? No, I don't think so. 
Okay. Because it's kind of fancy. Um, it's spinach lasagna roll-ups is just like you take a lasagna noodle and then you put the stuff that you want in it. So usually mine's like ricotta cheese and spinach. Oh. Mm. And you literally roll it up, put it down with the <clears> seam <throat> side down, cover it with a little bit of pasta sauce and bake it. Oh, okay, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So it's yeah. like a... I feel like there's another like a little enchilada. I know with our like my family when they make enchiladas, it's always in like a lasagna style. So instead of doing oh. the individual rolls for each yeah. one, you just make it as a lasagna. So it sounds mm. like the same sort of thing, just yummy. Yeah. In reverse. Yeah. yeah. I just I found this recipe a while yeah. ago, and I have gotten it memorized now. So because I love it so much, it's so good. I make a sweet potato casserole that is like, it's a Mexican sweet potato casserole and it's so good. And it's just, Mm. it's one of those things, but it takes time to make, but I'm always so happy when I get to. I mean, I love lasagna, but there's some of the ingredients in it does not love me. So, (laughs) Mm -hmm. okay. Next question. Um, gnarls dream. If we, I know that our, really, our characters don't know everything that happened, but as a player, what did you think of Lothi? Suspicious. Oh, (laughs) so sus. I was going to say, do you think they're trustworthy? Do you think they're trustworthy? No, 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 no. (laughs) I'm so glad I'm on the same page as a player. Like, I was like... Oh, you don't have to worry about it. Like, what? <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry, what now? I definitely... Lothi? I definitely trusted Lothi. I was like... <laughs> I what kind oh, of yeah. threw me off is that, like, DM and I kind of miscommunicated, and I was like, wait, Gnarls met Lothi before? And, like, there was some miscommunication there. I think it was my fault. Uh... So... It's, it's it's my bad, my bad. I didn't verify with everybody. Like, hey, you've all you've all already met your gods, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, you'll get to watch my dream sequence soon. Oh, I'm yeah. excited. So excited. Spoilers. 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 Oh my gosh. <laughs> so sorry, that's not really a spoiler because anybody could dream any any between any episode, anytime. Yeah, that's maybe. Not, that's not a spoiler. Oh shit, I missed it. Well, I mean, we sleep. I don't know. <laughs> I, so, I could have snuck out I could have snuck out and went and talked to somebody mm-hmm. <laughs> that was the next mm-hmm. episode after this Lothi okay. um, just like they said but yeah super shady just yeah. like they said Lothi is just trying to help sometimes you know people go on adventures and they're like what do I do next you know you get lost when you're playing the yeah. game so Lothi's just there going hey you don't know where to go? Uh, just fucking go that way. Yeah, that's a good that's a uh-huh. good use of your time. You just go that way. Sure. I mean, <laughs> I like Lucy so much. Even if that, <laughs> even if say that's really the case, Lothi was pretty cool even... to listen to, though. I just love their <laughs> mm-hmm. like carefree attitude, and it's like, oh, you know, it's no, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. That's what I find the most suspicious. Is <laughs> it's too carefree. Yeah. <laughs> drop ounce of like even remote seriousness or like concern for anything going on it's like man don't worry about it just keep going yeah. just keep walking yeah it's fine. i think that's the thing is like even if like our beloved dm is like straight up telling the truth that that was all there was to it i'd like that's completely like suspicious and yeah. be like what who are you and why no <laughs> none of this checks out none of this matches up uh, okay um anybody that's just like I'm telling you what you should and shouldn't worry about, and I'm telling you that you 100% should not have to worry about this. Don't worry, yeah. even a little bit. Take it from your mind. Don't even think about it. And then I was like, cool, yeah, sure, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm very carefree about things. Yeah, but you'll punch the old lady, so it's okay. <laughs> it bounces <laughs> out. Daryl doesn't care. <clears throat> uh, okay. Oh, I'm not going with that one yet. I think that question's out of order. Um, well, this was my own personal question. So, Haberdash of the Flothing 
Flowing, flowing door flowing clothing door store. Clothing store. It's so hard to see. <laughs> are you doing clothing store? No, I'm not. A floating floor, floating floor. So I saw friends that had a long day and week. It's real. So same. Um, but the, the flowing door clothing store was quite interesting. The owner and the sole employee. Chris, does Keith and wear clothes? Yes. <laughs> wearing clothes while being around you and so far I, you've all been spending rooms but like in the privacy of you know her own place like probably not like just walk around naked just let that like it's fine i'll have <laughs> in my head for some reason i thought maybe keithan wore a cloak or i couldn't imagine i was like wait do they have pants and a tail i'm just like or is it just a skirt and they're like winnie pooing it you know like, i just <laughs> wanted to see just Keith and without kidding. clothing. They just can't fathom any like article around this. Like, no, no, no. What, so what, how much does this color go? I like, guess, is like, it everywhere? Tara, Tara's <laughs> just like, Tara's just like, yeah, I just kind of, I don't know, every time I see a non-human character, I just kind of think they're wearing the same thing as Donald Duck. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, well, like, I don't know why, us, but so. Knee-length, brown pants, all of us. with a little waist belt, and, you know, a gray sleeveless thing with some leather accents. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Okay. Decent. Black yeah. And gray. Just, like, pretty casual, sensible, kind of? Yeah, just, you know, there's some little, like, red leather accents to their, like, oh. gray shirt with the little hood. And there's a whole, right. you know wrap thing for their tail to poke out of their pants mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah i imagine they have like a cloak just because they get cold you know occasionally yeah. you just want them a little bit more oh, weight yeah. to them i guess yeah. maybe my head just didn't i don't know it's a thought like if i had a snake character would i have them wear pants no would i have them wear skirts? <laughs> oh, fuck that like they could just go <laughs> um this is going great yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. I feel like we all needed a laugh. And I'm glad some of these questions were good. Because, you know. <sighs> I could feel <laughs> the stress, the the stress the... of this week lifting. Oh, I just think of some of the dumbest things. And I'm like, I wonder if the DM will let me ask this question. And so I just <laughs> throw it in there. Okay. Um, longing of the tea shop. Uh-huh. Do you think she might be involved with the assassin skills? She didn't really tell Theon mm. anything. Was kind of it could have also been your potential roles, your insight roles. I don't but remember how well I rolled. Not yeah. great. Yeah, I had um, been in trouble that day. Didn't really tell Theon anything, and she sold stuff to two guys that were involved with Mister B. True, but she told me that. At... Mm hmm. So what would be somebody's motivation, like, to lure lure us somewhere? You could have been, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She also gave me a pouch of gold that I am supposed to, that she asked me to deliver to and I, Ms. Tittlefink. I did my think of favorite that, character, too. Which I, no, which I Theon has not looked into. Anything could be in there. I assume it jingles. But... Yeah, poor, poor longing trying to make up for, you know, a mistake she made. And you're just like, ah, yes, this gold that is for someone struggling with their livelihood <laughs> literally exploded. I'll just take my time to get there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, exploded? Well, exploded? yeah, it's Evelyn, uh, Evelyn Tittlefink, she's the owner of the Dry Jester. Her, yeah. her, li she, her livelihood has exploded. The Dry Jester yes. has exploded and yes. Longing's money is for that. Yes, totally. I thought you meant that the, the gold that she gave me to give Evelyn exploded, and I was like, I, I should probably have known that. No, good, we're good. It's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I so, like, I feel like she was on the up and up. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But that's, that's, I mean, I often forget to, like, ask if I believe somebody or ask if I can, mm -hmm. like, roll for insight because, like, 
I'm just using my own brain to like try to see through what's happening and I forget that I can roll for it. <laughs> so like I gotta make sure I do that more often. But it seemed seemed okay to me. We may yeah. find out, we may never know. I had the same thought. I mean at first I was like, whoa, maybe she's involved with hmm. Mm-hmm. Um Oh, next question. Know. And this will be like the end of section or session three. Communications with Vestenholt. What do you think's going on there? Oh. Do you have thoughts, theories, ideas? Mm, dead air. Uh, yeah. Something about the Writers Guild? Well, okay, so what all you know about <laughs> what's going on in Vestenholt is that there there is a uh, oh, give me one second. I'll leave you on a cliffhanger. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I mean I guess I could explain. Um, I was like myself personally, I was imagining like riot or ish, like political issues essentially is why it got mm -hmm. shut down. That's what I was imagining. I don't know mm -hmm. how accurate because you know. I don't believe my character really knows anything, nor do I about Vestenholt. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but that was my like thought. Yeah, I guess like was that related to the fact that like, like the wizards, ta like the, the, what I missed the guild that the guild that the um, elf was part of. Like, did that ha did that have anything to do with the fact that they like need money? Like, I don't know if those were two separate issues or if that was all related. Who knows? You didn't ask. Issue for well, no. I mean, we're speculating. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, uh, sorry, Chris. Oh yeah, I was just telling um, our DM that, uh, like myself personally, I just figured it was a, potentially a political issue on why the doorways yeah. were closed. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Same. So, um, well, what you guys found out, I will tell you guys what you found out because I was there and I told you. Um, <laughs> uh, what, what you know is that there is a, um, transportation circle that's supposed to go at, at the very least between Vestenholtz Wizards College and the tower in Gondorin, um, but, uh, for whatever reason, um, the transportation circle is broken on Vestenholt's side. Um, that's what that's what the gnome mage said is that there's something going on um, on the school side because theirs is fine, but they haven't heard from the school. Yeah. Right, but like, is it broken or was it like shut down for yeah. some reason? Yeah. Tampered with. Yeah. Uh, that does raise a, a question I have that I had thought during the game and I 100% forgot about it. Go for um, it. With the Vestenhole, do they have the same, you must have a pass in order to get into Gondrin from that side, or do they let free travel? Ooh, that's interesting. Do you have to, like, pay the fee and everything? Yeah, because oh, yeah. you would just get transferred, you know, here. So would you just right. pay the entry fee in order to get here, or would you also need papers? And then how would they verify that? Or if there's any, like, huge thing that's no longer an, an exit strategy. But if, you know, the hmm. city blew up. Now we talked about setting fire to things. Maybe it's, like, um, customs. Like, it's, like, flying with customs where, like, customs is actually on the other side. They've got, like, somebody over there Yeah. that, like, looks maybe. at those things. Or maybe, like, if you just come through and you're not supposed to be there, like, a Prixie just fucks you up. I don't know. I feel like the pink-haired gnome could fuck you up. I liked her. <laughs> That's she my, makes jokes about people losing limbs in teleportation. She's got some shit going on, okay? Yeah, she's pretty hardcore. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Questions. Yeah. And that then, was... if they did have somebody over there, like a customs officer, what happened to that? them? They probably didn't. I feel like maybe they would have mentioned that if that was part. I don't know. There's too many theories. <laughs> we need more information. <laughs> To Vest and Holt. <laughs> oh, wait, no. <laughs> we have questions. They need answers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was right? the end of the chapter three questions. Now we move on to chapter four.
Um, this episode, we went to a lot of shops, like little shops. We went to restaurants. Um, we fought. We went to jail. And that was the end of the episode. Ah, oh, cliffhanger. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. So, we went to a lot of restaurants, and Z tried Blizzard for the first time. What is the strangest thing you've eaten, and what was it? Oh. We are so You as a character, yeah. or not a character, a person. Or a player. Hello. Player. I'm sure I have an answer for that. I'm sure I've eaten some weird stuff. The strangest thing we've eaten? Yes. Oh, man. Are you coming up? I've traveled to a lot of weird places, not weird places, but different places, and I'm trying to think. Uh, the I gotta say, the weirdest thing I've ever eaten is probably gator. I went to Louisiana once and had a gator corn dog. Oh, Ooh. how was that? It Spicy. It really tastes like anything. No, yeah. it's gummy. It's real yeah. gummy. Sorry, I totally answered your question <laughs> for you. No, it's totally fine. Uh, because I don't remember how it tastes. <laughs> I was gummy. like four years ago. <laughs> it doesn't have a taste. It just takes on the taste of whatever is on it. Like if there's spicy stuff, it becomes spicy. If it's battered, it becomes battered. Like it doesn't have a taste. It's just gatored. Gatored. <laughs> that sounds like the time I had eel, and that's it. Didn't taste like anything. Like there was lemon no. in the soup, and that's what it tastes like. Like the eel just had the lime taste or whatnot. Um, I like eel. It's so good. Yeah, that is good. But it just absorbs whatever sushi. flavor. <laughs> uh, but like, believe. strangest Good. thing, I don't really feel like any of the food I've had is really strange. And honestly, I can't really imagine. So like, I remember the clovers. So there's like the little clovers and they have these little seed things. I remember putting the seed things in my mouth as a kid and then they would just pop. Uh-huh. <laughs> that to me is the strangest thing I've eaten. <laughs> huh. Yeah. You ate a flower. I mm -hmm. ate a flower. I used and to do eating that flowers too. is not strange, but I mean, no, just in, picking them in front of your garden is like a little strange, but just shove them in your mouth. But yeah, yeah. not washed or anything, you know. I feel like that's Building an important immunity. part of childhood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, you eat the grass that like, you know, whatever has shit on and it's just fine. Okay, but hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. Um... French fries dipped in pudding. It's good. Chocolate pudding. French fries People dipped in do, chocolate pudding is delicious. People do milkshakes and, a, and pudding is just a warm milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, pudding. <laughs> it's a milkshake that doesn't have a time limit, which I like as a very there slow consumer. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. I, I feel like I should have an answer for this because I have been to a lot of places. Well, if you think of it later. I must have had something interesting in Malaysia or Indonesia or Bulgaria or like, ah. I mean, in Bulgaria, I was served a grilled cheese sandwich that still had the plastic on the cheese like baked into the sandwich and I ate half of it before Because <laughs> they just don't give a shit. Yeah. Worst thing really. you've ever eaten is plastic. I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it, was, it was like there's a strange rind on this cheese. Like, no, it was straight up just the sheets of plastic between like crap singles that they just hadn't taken off. Yeah, you thought it was like the outside of the brie or something. You're like, oh, it's a yeah, no. fancy cheese. No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out it's crap singles with plastic on it. Yeah. Yeah, and I get like flagged down the waiter and was like, I there's 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 plastic in here. He was just like, oh, okay. And he just took it from me and I never saw him again. So I didn't eat that much that day. <laughs> Bulgaria is awesome. Anyway. <laughs> they, I mean, that like, that, there's a lot of just like cultural differences in food that I've encountered that like, I don't really feel like I can qualify that as like the weirdest thing I've ever eaten. Like, you know, I've, I've eaten all sorts of Scottish dishes. People think haggis is weird. I've had haggis. <clears throat> haggis is good. It's totally yeah, legit. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. Um, and then like, yeah, like in Bulgaria, they like, they put, uh, pickles on pizza, like, but they put them on okay. before they cook it. So before you get your, well, yeah. So they're cooked with the pizza, the pickles, pickle slices. That's not like, weird. I'd do that. It's, 
I would rather. So it's good in theory. It's a little weird for. I feel like it was definitely weird, weird for me on a pizza. It was. It yeah. Was Personally, cucumber, yes, but like the pickled unexpected. version of nah. Yeah. Personally, I would prefer cold pickles over cooked pickles. Well, right. Yeah, that was a game. That was like a game changer. I thought for the pickles, I was like, if you guys just put these on after, like we could talk. But like, I can't. I can't do this. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know but, fried like, pickles existed until like, like a couple years ago. So yeah, mm -hmm. I thought fried pickles was the weirdest thing. I'm like, why would you fry oh, a pickle? Like a deep fried. Oh, those are yeah. And fried different ranch. Oh, no, That's okay. true, and those are warm. So why did I have a problem with? Maybe if I went back to Sophia now and and ate pickle pizza, I would be cool with it. Okay, I don't know. so this is like ten years ago. Speaking of fried pickle, I I actually didn't know fried pickles were a thing until I moved into the Midwest. Uh, oh, another Midwest thing. Yeah, <laughs> is that only a Midwest thing? Uh, it's, it's reached the coasts now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> when I was in Texas, is the first time I heard about them. So they serve it in bars out here as of like two years ago. Yeah, yeah. just recently you can find it in a couple bars here. Yeah. I think yeah, in the Midwest to South, I think yeah, they're like they're like bar foods, comfort foods there. We but love fried foods. Um they're delicious, that's why. I I worked when I when I was in uh Iowa, I worked at Zombie Burger. It is a zombie themed burger joint. No way. What? That's amazing. <laughs> um, it's what? great. It's great. Their food, their burgers are so good. They're so good. Um, my favorite, personally, was one called the Trailer Trash Zombie. And on the Trailer Trash Zombie, it's a, it's a cheeseburger. But on the cheeseburger, they have chicken fried bacon and fried pickles and fried cheese curds with ranch on it and those Whoa. are all things i like and they were Whoa. so good that, that was my favorite burger there it was really good it's next level yeah they also wow. have um they also have a burger called they're coming to get you barbara and um <laughs> that one uh that one is the buns instead of bun it's like a cheeseburger but instead of buns it has grilled cheese sandwiches Oh jeez! Um, and then <gasps> their their famous one that you see, I've seen videos of it on Facebook. Um, like you know, like you, those those Facebook videos where they're like, check out this restaurant all the way in New York, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they have one. They have one of those for the Walking Ched. And the Walking Ched, similarly to, uh oh, can you hear? Okay, you can still hear me. Okay, um, the Walking Ched, similarly to the, uh, um, similarly to, you know, they're coming to get you, Barbara, is a, um, <clears throat> is a cheeseburger, but, um, instead of buns, it has two fried, uh, mac and cheese croquettes, croquets. Oh, Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and it's real fun watching people try to eat those for the first time because you should cut into it first. Yeah, I was going to say, you can't pick it up, right? Okay. Yeah, uh, you got <laughs> to cut like into trying. it first, but some people don't think to do that. And then the person they're eating with gets sprayed in the eye with hot cheese. Oh, <laughs> casualty. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah. That's rough. <laughs> that, was my, that was my favorite thing to watch. <laughs> As uh -huh. as an employee, that sounds like an awesome burger joint. I that's really... over the summer, or no, maybe it was a couple summers ago. I we found a monster burger bar, and all of the burgers were named after like monsters, you know, Bigfoot. That's oh, uh, that's cute. You know, yeah, they were real good. Okay, I'm hungry. I'm hungry now. It's all y'all's fault. Uh, food in general isn't weird so yeah. like I don't really have a weird food thing but like I was the type of kid that would just eat things to try it like oh yeah. I'm gonna lick this rock to see what it tastes <laughs> like so like ants are probably the weirdest food I've ever eaten I bet your mm -hmm. immune system is rock solid <laughs> yeah pretty good right like, <laughs> I like that job good job uh -huh. the system works <laughs> Yeah. I, I must have accidentally yep. eaten ants. 
I did because I did some of that too. Like I feel you on that. I definitely ate like rose petal, like the like oh the, yeah, uh, clovers yeah. and rose petals and grass. Like I remember when I got uh, was it the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans for the first time, and there was like a grass one, and I like offhandedly remarked to my friend like, "Oh man, that tastes just like grass." And they were like, it "I'm did. sorry, why yeah. do you know what that tastes like?" And I was like, "Did you not eat grass as a child?" Like, <laughs> no, I, did. I didn't. Oh. I'm not a fucking heathen like y'all. I didn't need Grass anything weird. Thing. <laughs> um, one is what kind of yeah. lawless children y'all were? Dirt was pretty accurate as well. <laughs> oh, but I got to the vomit flavored one, and I was like, I was like, I'm never eating these again. Like that's like a reverse. <laughs> it like makes you feel sick. Oh my god. Not I'm good. out. The, never again. I didn't like the popcorn flavored one either. And oh, I like those. what was, was a great I one. hate that too. Pop- yeah, yeah. popcorn flavored one. It's so gross. It Give was weird. weird to me. I yeah. will take them from it you. Was real weird. Oh, I can taste it now we're talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Forever scarred. Fun. This is your you fault, want, Tara. You want a fun, I know it is. You want a fun side story? Sure. Like from my childhood. Yeah. So my mom used to manage quite a few Hollywood videos. Before they closed, so this is telling you how long ago. Mm-hmm, I was also mm-hmm. fairly young, probably middle school. Um, but there was a Christmas where she had to work. She had to open the store on Christmas morning. And so she brought us in and which she usually did, and we would hang out either in the back back room or in the side room. Well, this is Christmas. And we all got Birdie Bots of Reflavored Beans in our stockings. And so we brought them with us and we're standing behind one of the side desks, like as people are leaving, because, you know, you have to enter and leave on two different sides. And we were having the Birdie Bots every flavored bean out. And every time a customer would leave, we would go, hey, do you want to try a jelly bean? Not showing them the box. (laughs) Betrayal. (laughs) Yeah. And so... (laughs) They would, they'd go, sure, because who's going to tell three young kids no? Like, come on. Mm-hmm. So, who oh, are sure. there? Thank you for because, sharing. And, and mm-hmm. because their parent has to be working on it's Christmas, Christmas Day. <laughs> exactly. So people would reach in <laughs> and, get a, and get a jelly bean. Oh, it's and brutal. sometimes they were, sometimes they were great. Like they were good jelly like beans. Blueberry. And the other yeah. times, oh yeah, the other times were not great, and the customers would look at us oh, and go, no. "What are they? What is this?" Oh my god! <laughs> You're just like, oh, no. this, we just found this at the bottom of my mom's purse. It's been there for a while. <laughs> no, we told them they were Birdie Bots every flavored bean, and it was a surprise flavor. What it looked like, and then we tell them what they got, oh, and god. they leave the store. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear. I want to hear a, like I love a story. I want to hear a sequel to oh, this God. story where uh, where they calculate how much money you lost Hollywood video. <laughs> this is the reason why they closed in our area. Don't go oh, to that no. one. They give you beans. <laughs> the bad ones. Watch out for the children. Sounds like a horror film. The children. The children of the corn. Mm-hmm. Village of the Damned. That's fucked up, yo. Yeah. Oh man, those movies are great. Oh. I... <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Oh shit. Whew. Sorry, it was a fun side story. I thought we could laugh at it. I mean, we, we certainly we, did. Yep. We... <laughs> <laughs> yep. okay. I love that the three of you were smart enough to come up with that plan. <laughs> I know how to play the kid card. It's so perfect. <laughs> I mean, you put all three of us together and geniuses, sort of. Oh, that's awful. My brother's got the the gumption to do the stupid physical crap, and I'm smart enough to talk people into it. My sister's yeah. just the... She's just there. Yeah, she she's just a, in a She's a follower. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank mm-hmm, you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Party met Gerald, who bombed and tried to kill us. Um, how do how do you think the conversation in jail could have gone differently? Were there other questions you wanted to ask? 
Oh, the conversation in jail. Yeah. Naro well, would have broken their fingers. If Juno wouldn't have gotten involved, there would have been torture. <laughs> yes. That actually would have been really interesting because there would have been some eaten flesh. Keithan would have had a snack oh, gladly. Boy. Actually, speaking of which <laughs> I do you wanna do you wanna pull up this question? Yeah. Tara, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We have to come, make sure to come back to this too. Yeah, we literally have a question. I do have a question about that. Okay. Yeah. But like honestly, <laughs> even <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> Wait, what? That's not my my question. Is um, as your character would uh would would Keithan actually bite or eat Gerald? And oh. what what I wrote on the stream, what is on the stream right now, is Keithan. How tempted were you to munch? <laughs> <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh honestly, like, 100% true. Keithan was gonna bite into this individual because fuck this guy. Like, this, like, person. This, this person. This person. Yeah, I was We're correcting working on it. We're working on it. Yep. We're getting there. Um, yeah, no, they were, no. Keithan was so pissed off that their food got ruined by this individual <laughs> that <laughs> fucked it up. They are yeah. now... A meal. a meal like this is how this is the punishment you get you get to fill you my ruin belly the meal. because you fuck this shit up <laughs> <laughs> well, you're just a fucking oh asshole. Like, what we want to know and you've already been like messing with mr b you know shit i don't care like if you need an incentive for a wound i will eat you <laughs> like, I'm, still, I'm still hungry and it's your fault yeah, <laughs> you yeah. must That's pay a- it's a pretty I, good like torture. Gnarl can yeah, Gnarl can break their fingers. I'm just gonna take a chunk out of their shoulder. It's oh gonna God. be fine. <laughs> so how much will be left some, of them? Who knows? A therapy but... session as a <laughs> <laughs> therapy. Real bad. Yeah. Don't fuck with so, their food and it's fine. Tam, Tam just like goes to college. Tam just fucking goes to this wizard school, and he's like, "Yeah, I had this great adventure. I watched one of my friends eat someone." I'm, I'm well, he fine. Was, he was definitely not in the room. Still living. There was yeah. no way he was in the room for that shit. Tim's like, mentally, no, I mean, that been... I'm fine. I just watched we someone eat someone. Him. Oh, well, I mean, maybe that will happen at some point. When yeah. He, us, but he was not there and we would not have told. I can't yeah. believe we would have told him that. Keith would have still done it in front of Tam. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Keith doesn't give a fuck. Maybe it'll come up again. <laughs> oh, my God. Keith doesn't care. I, like, in the alternate timeline where that happened like i don't know what theon would have because uh i felt like right after i said it because i i think i was like all right gnarl go for it or like i said something like you know but irish um <coughs> and like and immediately was like well i mean this is I, i'm inhabiting theon and therefore she did this but also like this is not actually who she is like she she has oh. a deep distaste for like well (sighs) like bureaucracy and like like dishonesty and all of that like but but straight up being like sure for like person i'm traveling with break this other person's fingers like that was a really she's had some interesting moments in this like little journey with y'all that has been really outside of her like comfort zone and outside of like what she would see herself doing. And that's something that like is actually going to be really interesting for her to think about. So like if you had actually gone, gone through with that, sorry, uh, uh, DM, uh, if, yeah, if you'd actually gone through with that and like, and then Keith ended like taking a bite out of their shoulder or something, I don't like, I almost want to play that scene out just to like, just know what would, like, I don't know what the fuck Theon would do, but it would not be okay. Anyway, sorry, DM. Uh, no, I was just that gonna was a say. Question, yeah, we we have a we have a question about that too. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, go yeah. for it. Well, uh, it was pretty I'm much here that. To help. Yeah. Um, what was what was the what was what the... was going through your head during this discussion? You mm. said, "I can't believe I just asked you to break someone's fingers." It's <laughs> yeah. Beyond having moral dilemmas, being with the party. Yeah, totally. She's finding herself trying things that she would not have pictured herself. I mean, even talking to Billiam and trying to be like, meh, 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 well, tell us what we want to know. Like, but, you know, she's, she's, she's far from home and she's in situations that she has never been in before. 
um, as all of us may or may not be, I'm not sure. Um, but Fionn is, and like yeah. her, she's, she's sort of throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks a little bit and like, morally, but, but when it morally, <laughs> a little bit, you know, but like when, when it, like the moment it happens, it feels like she figures out whether that was okay or not. Like, but she has to kind of do it and then figure it out as she's doing it and go like, oh, that didn't feel right. Like that was not okay. What am I doing? Yeah, so like she had a crisis of conscience in the hallway afterwards. <laughs> I was like, like what is like? Wow. It's really interesting for the character that I've created to be paired with all y'all's characters because, like, they're you just like aren't people that would have met necessarily uh, otherwise. And so that's been really interesting for me as like I feel like I feel like Tara, you described Fiona as like the moral compass at one point, which is like dubious because like, <laughs> she has a sense of morality but it's not a lot of people's I... um, yeah anyway uh, it's gonna be really interesting this will be an ongoing thing she, yeah. <clears throat> god knows what we're gonna get into next y'all <laughs> i really like the fact that uh Narl and like fion were so different and like they kind of butt heads yeah a lot it's and really then they have moments where they just kind of look at each other and go yeah. I, yeah. okay i understand yeah, okay <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fun for us as friends to play that too, I feel like. Mm hmm Yeah. What were you gonna say, Halo? Uh oh, I was gonna say something like, uh Fion uh Fion is being influenced more by the party than the party's being influenced by Fion. <laughs> there's three of you and there's one of me. <laughs> I'm outnumbered, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, but it yeah. makes sense. Like, if you're not For used real, to being I'm around really... people and then you're suddenly in a group of everyone that, you know, are okay with doing more, you know, morally yeah. conscious, you know, iffy God. situations, then you would start to see, like, potentially, like, your patterns change depending on, like, how strong willed you are or, like, mm -hmm. how evolved it's, like, yeah. So yeah. It, it makes sense, like, personality wise. Like, if you still got room to grow, being in a shit group like we are um, yeah i was yeah, just i was just thinking i was just thinking uh i was like ooh, it might be really fun for for fion to meet someone from from her village and just have the you fell into the wrong crowd oh conversation <laughs> oh my god they're bad influences I mean, fion do, yeah if, depending on how long tam is with us how funny would it be like <gasps> just them later like no that's fine like why would that be like why would that be bad <laughs> mm -hmm. we're we're been hanging right around for, yeah we're definitely oh, man. Tam's gonna grow up to be a murderer yeah. <laughs> he'll have a compass he has not yeah. like, he'll only oh murder gosh. the people that deserve to be murdered yeah. just Tam. a tiny gnarl he's just a small gnarl <laughs> <laughs> no he's I'm yeah. so proud of that that's though that's <laughs> Too, but Narl, like, like Narl would try their best to make sure to be kind of on their best behavior with Tam around, because like Narl does care about Tam. And then Zen will well, be right there, like, okay, so this is how you open the store. Come on, come here. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you break into shit. But that's an interesting question, actually, for uh, Cheebs is like, um, so not like whatever Narl's sort of moral compass is, whatever that is. Do they have a sense that it's not? it's not everybody's or that it's maybe not okay? Like, that's an interesting question because I feel like there are some people who would sort of just be like, yeah, kid, this is how it is. And then there are some people who would be like, oh, maybe I should temper this, What like what I'm teaching this child. And like, where does Narl fall on that scale? I don't know. We'll just have to see. I'm like, mm -hmm, no? it's, it, that's mm -hmm. gonna be very story driven. And that's gonna, I'm gonna see how Ooh. the DM takes Tam and their relationship because Ooh. there's a lot of things I think that can potentially develop from their relationship. So I, I don't Ooh. want to spoil anything. Oh okay, boy! Okay. Oh boy! Um, okay, I'm in. And I'm along just to clarify, like, I don't know anything about Tam. I don't know anything. Like, this is me as a player trusting yeah. our DM to, no. to know, not, go forward and yeah. Like, we we can play. I'm gonna try to play off of whatever she makes Tam do, kind of. Mm -hmm. 
Tam's mm-hmm. gonna get real it's into drugs. <laughs> he just drugs. he's I yeah. Mean, I mean, he I could, course, I guess. Not, would be okay. Like maybe not. Like I don't know. Like, right. I don't like <laughs> right. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. But it is interesting that Narl um, is like one of the is like <clears throat> the person in the party who is maybe most protective of Tam because I would have thought that Fion would be. Um. But it's been really cool to see Nara like super be invested and step up and like okay and that's one thing that I think makes Fionn go like okay well you're not just a dick like, <laughs> you know, like we I think we just we're just different and so we like but clearly you have some good heart and so we're gonna figure that out I don't know it's gonna be interesting oh, I mean yeah. like Fionn's not like a pure she she's a dick too sometimes sure. <laughs> so like Stuffing Mutual the dickness. thing back in uh, in <laughs> Juno's mouth, like, oh, stop talking. <laughs> Fine, I won't. T- I won't untie you. Have it your way. <laughs> oh, that was no a patience. good, a good conversation. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I'm excited. Um, speaking of Tam, like, mm? I mean, we could. Well. It's not an wanna... order. It's not an order, but I figured it just matched oh. the flow of conversation better. Um, I mean, we could. I now was I'm just intrigued. trying to go in order of the story. But now I want to know. <clears throat> we'll okay. get there. We'll get there. Okay. Right. Yeah, we'll so, get there. We'll get there. Yeah. Sorry, okay. I should. Can't I should let. No, I no, should let good. Tara be in charge of this because <laughs> Tara is in charge of this. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I'm mad. You're good. I was just trying to go in the order of the story, sort of. Um, Leadership instincts, I think. Halo, it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Um. So Taylor, <laughs> Taylor, why? What is wrong with my brain? So Tara asked Halo a small secret. Um. During gameplay, do you think the secret might affect the game? Wait, what? I yeah, there's a, a secret message. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't remember when that was. When was that? Um. While we're in the interrogation. That's right. Was it after Juno had come in and there was the talk of the Assassin's Guild? Oh, God knows. Before Man, it. fuck it. I don't know. It was before, before that? that? Oh, okay, okay. Because I was going to say that business, like, and see, I have no clue. I'm just, it's just all curiosity. Well, no, I don't know. I imagine it would affect things. I'm curious, but I have no idea. I'm assuming it's dealing with Assassin Guildy things or, you know if they have any ties that they could use, but that's just like my speculation. And I imagine it's going to go in a direction that will be very interesting, but I don't know why, but I want to know. (laughs) (laughs) That would be the ultimate twist. I was yeah, gonna say, exactly. if it included Narl, that would be the ultimate head. twist. <laughs> yeah. Narl, yeah, Paul, like, we gotta change this. We, they, we can't, they know too much. Just. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, that would be a fucking interesting storyline right there. So, like, yeah. bring it yeah. on. <laughs> Z's just messaging me, how much would they all be worth? <laughs> <laughs> how many hit points do they have? <laughs> and I get that oh my god advantage <laughs> <laughs> does Although, Nar- that would be kind of funny. yeah does Narl count as an ally for sneak attack damage on people in of the room <laughs> Narl will know like automatically I know that look I see it in your eye mm. we've done this before we've done mm. this before <laughs> it's canon Z-, Z and Narl are just fucking grifters <laughs> Just oh fucking murdering people. <laughs> that would be that would a be perfect really... storyline. I love it. It would be really interesting. Yeah. You wake yeah. up one morning, potentially, and all of your stuff is gone. <laughs> you have God no idea damn. where they're at. Yeah, everything is gone. They're with Tam, though. They're just like, okay, Tam, I need you. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> You're a pack leave. mule. It's time to gain some muscles. <laughs> oh. No, that's what we're that using his pony for. <laughs> oh, right. oh uh, that's why you have uh, two ponies. <laughs> Tam's happy one, pony. Actually, the other ones. The other I know ones what Tam. his name is. Hold on. I it's, I don't it's, know it's, what his name is. Very, Fuck. It's very important for Fion to know these things. Uh, <laughs> back to a second. Is it what, mud? What Tam's no? No. For a trend. 
Bertrand. Bertrand. Bertrand is no. mud. Yeah, Bertrand is mud. Tams uh, Tams it's, is like clop um, or some shit like that. It's like okay. it's I'm something cute. You no, know it's in here. Oh, it's because I have. Yeah, Bertrand is uh, is Keithan's fancy uh, horse. No. Yeah, <laughs> who is very mad that it gets called mud. <laughs> I am really not. Name. It's a perfectly good thing. I am not the <laughs> ground from which you travel. I am better than this, you bitch. <laughs> Hey, Keithan's all about just descriptive names. Just say what you are. <laughs> the color of dirt. They could have named their horse dirt, but mud seemed a little nicer than dirt. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, but uh, poor Bertrand. I can tell you right now that like you're like your name's Mud. Bertrand in his little in his little horse brain was like, you might as well name me shit because <laughs> it feels the same. <laughs> Uh, it is Klopp. 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 That is correct. Yeah. Klopp. Yeah. And also, I need to take notes that I can actually refer to. My notes are just such a disaster. Like, I can't actually find anything when I need it, which really defeats the point. <laughs> I have little post-it things to put in my notebook, and I want oh, to put them in a bag. <laughs> I haven't oh, been using were... them at all. They're in my oh, bag. My <laughs> From you were recommending that to me. like, two weeks. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Teeb's did. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Teeb's did. Sorry. I think so. Good. Yeah. It was It was all the, the same. <laughs> I've been nice. doing like little stars and, and circling things, but like it's just I mean Oh like the it's tabs a disaster. Stand out more, yeah, the tabs in definitely my opinion. Yeah. yeah. This is like and I think I'm I also write down I'm doing it upside down so you can't read it. Um I think I also write too much. I need to learn to edit more. You should see my notes. It's like almost word for word what everybody has said. Sometimes. Oh, geez. As Do you type yours out? Get... No. You're writing things down. Handwritten. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I used to start with like writing all the things that happen in like in session, and then I started going to like just abbreviating sh things way too much. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what was this? I don't. I don't know. I only wrote like a quarter of the story that actually happened. <laughs> I, I have to find a middle ground, and I haven't found my middle ground yet. Mm -hmm. I think I've found my middle ground, but. Good. Okay. Yeah. But I use a I highlighter, know. and if I had enough time, I would color code the highlighting. But right, I sometimes right. don't have that enough time. Right, which is similar to like the tabbing and stuff. But anyways, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll figure it out eventually. When Gerald revealed that Billiam mm. paid them to take out a fighter at the Dry Jester, what do you mm. think? What are your thoughts on that? And do you think Billiam is trustworthy now? Oh, those are two different I mean, I, questions that I have. I never two did. And I've I never did. To smush them together. Oh yeah, no, Billiam's shady as fuck. Well, yeah, Billiam is shady as fuck. Um, are we talking uh, like our characters or as players? Uh, Both. Either or. I am in love with Billiam, and Billiam could do no wrong. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, please. Um, He's just a guy yeah, just nothing... trying trying to make a living in the slums, you know? Sure, sure, buddy. <laughs> yeah, no, I think nothing would surprise me that, that Billiam's shady thing, any shady thing that Billiam had done would be unsurprising to me and Theon. Like... <laughs> Clearly, clearly that was some shady shit happening there. Like, even for a hot second, like, Fionn was, like, considering, because I think, uh, was it Juno um, that mentioned that they were looking for the identity of the forger that's been, like, messing with uh, entry into the city? Yes. And, like, it was a pretty good payout. It was, like, it was, like, it was like say, 100 a gold. thousand gold or two, 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 two or 200 gold. gold. Yeah. 200 gold. It was, like, pretty good. Um. <laughs> But uh, she doesn't have that level of respect for law and order. So it was like, meh, I'll leave them to it. But uh, yeah, like he's shady as fuck. No question. Yeah, Nero would case. not think that he's trustworthy at all. Um, Nero was just like, I think mostly Nero was there to make sure that nothing happened to Z at that point. Because... <clears throat> 
Narl doesn't understand everything that Z does, but Narl will always have Z's back. Oh. Oh. Twins. Siblings. Twinsies. Twinsies. Okay. Um. Juno. Well, the Assassins Guild was mentioned. Juno told us to get the fuck out. What yeah. are your character's thoughts on this Assassin Guild? <clears throat> Yeah, well, Juno's scared. Like, they must, that this is fairly serious business that we're meddling with. Because, like, Juno seems like a decently tough character. Uh, cookie, you know. Um, yeah, and she seems scared. So, mental note of that. <laughs> <laughs> something, yeah, something pretty serious uh, could happen if we mess with them, which we kind of are. So, <laughs> Daryl's like, bring it on. Mm. <laughs> Let it happen. And especially because they fucked with their kid. Like, Daryl's pissed. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Aww. Uh, Keithan doesn't have, like, I guess they, like, under I don't know if they fully understand, like, the severity of the Assassin's Guild. They're, like, uh, how much of it is just talk or whatnot. Um, but primary, like their main concern is just finding this Mr. B. Like that's honestly their their sole drive right now is, all right. Well, if you have to mess with these people to get to Mr. B, then let's do it. Like I I want to find this individual. Um, so that's kind of like their main motivation currently. And really... the, the assassin scale is not like a it's a, a minor concern to them. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. I'm really fascinated by Keithan's doggedness uh, around, like the the um, Mr. B and whatever artifacts he possesses and all. Like, and Keithan's like religious knowledge background, and there's some really interesting stuff happening there. And it's because like Keithan, generally speaking, like doesn't seem like somebody that like gives that much of a shit about that many things. So like, yeah, huh? Sure. This is like really important, and why? I am very curious, as a player and as a character, about that. Yep. Somebody's gotta be... Creepy statue. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's yeah, gotta be fucking got interested in the main storyline. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I, 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 I just haven't talked about it. Yeah, no. Fionn is. Fionn and Keithan, honestly, like, yeah. I see if Zenral and Narl were like, I don't want to go, let's go take this kid. I'm like, all right. Fionn and Keithan are gonna be like, Let's fucking leave these guys. Yeah. Like, we're gonna have the two pair off, and we're gonna find this Mr. B. Like, yeah, we would Keithan like... has recognized that a little bit from Fionn. Like, all right, okay. is this gonna be is this gonna be a split the party? We're gonna go track down this Mr. B and see if we can fuck him up, and then these uh -huh. two are gonna go take our little Tam, make sure he gets into like, wizard school. To, to wizard school. Who? Yeah. Wait, who's gonna get Tam in the divorce? <laughs> We it, are. I think it would be no, it would be gnarl. I no, wouldn't no but, like, contest. Yeah, I would like. <laughs> I would be sad about Take it, up. but like I'm not gonna fight gnarl for it. Clearly, oh, like, like meh, whatever, it's fine. Well, but that's the thing, I'd be right? Sad she gonna be sad. Um, that's that's the thing, though, right? Because like, I would say, I would say, as Tam, you know, as the person that plays Tam and knows him best, um, Tam has like an equally strong connection well maybe a slightly stronger connection to Fionn than Narl like Narl and Tam do get along very well but Tam does have a slightly more emotional connection with Fionn so Fionn was mm -hmm. there in their time of need yeah, yep. yeah. yeah. although I Fionn also turned Fionn's... into the tiger yeah oh, <laughs> they had to talk about it mistakes were made <laughs> um I definitely feel like Fionn's the motherly character yeah. too mm -hmm. yeah. that yeah. you know Narl doesn't since... quite possess yeah, um, oh, no. in the same way, it's a different yeah, expression like, well, of not that, like the big yeah. brother. Investment. Like, I will take mm -hmm. you under my wing. I will protect you, but it's yeah, not so much the, the emotional support that Tam, you know, might need in their current state that Fionn could offer. It's actually a really good reminder. Like, I gotta check in with Tam. Like, he's like, is he's not that far away from like some really super tragic shit that happened to him. So I gotta check in with him, see if he's doing okay. Yeah. Also, a little emotional reminder to check on yourself. Yeah, you know, Make sure you're yeah, check in on yourself. <laughs> there, this week is also, you know, hello audience. This week has been a real big week. Oh, check in with yourself emotionally and mentally <laughs> at some point. It's time for self care. <laughs> 
<sighs> Whatever that what self care is, is for you, it means to you. A do something. Pizza. Do something yeah. for yourself. A whole pizza. <laughs> yeah, maybe pizza yeah. and green curry. Like for... it doesn't matter. Do yeah. you? For me, it's have your bubble bath as you need to read a book. You know, for me, I got I got three chicken. Ta- I got three of these chicken ranch tacos, some chili fries, and some churros from Del Taco. I'm feeling better yes. already. That's not great. sponsored by Del Taco. Not sponsored by Del Taco. <laughs> uh, hashtag non spawn. Yeah. Hey, um, Del Taco. Want to sponsor us? Hey, Del Taco. <laughs> Yeah, Although, give me some Del Taco dice. Del Taco out by me, so. Oh, God. <laughs> we'll ship you some Del Taco. <laughs> oh, no. It'll taste delicious, I promise. Oh, boy. I <laughs> don't like Del Taco food. on a normal day, so. I actually don't. I, I don't know if I've ever had it. I guarantee that it would be even better. <laughs> Fries <laughs> not bad. Just go with the taco. <laughs> You'll be all right. I, I've actually never had it, but everything you listed sounded good in theory. Del Taco is fine. You have to like for a really long time. I hated Del Taco. I could not find anything that I liked. But um, now Del Taco has on their menu uh, the equivalent to McDonald's snack wraps. Remember when McDonald's had snack wraps? Mm-hmm. There, it, it's literally it's literally ranch, lettuce, cheese, and oh, uh, like fried chicken. chicken inside. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, and a chicken. They, those. They have those at Del Taco now, and those are really good. So that's what I eat there now. I feel like our that's default true. topic is definitely food. Like, oh, yeah. we're, like before we ever started, you know, for anyone our who's watching, like before we ever, <laughs> yeah, before we ever even had like our session zero, like I remember like signing on, like I didn't know Tara, like I like I didn't know who necessarily, you know, everybody on the screen. I didn't know Halo and. And like y'all were just talking about food already. It's like, okay, I guess we're good to go. <laughs> so from this has been a, a, a tradition. We'll call it a tradition yes. from early on. We're like-minded people in some ways, and food is one of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Except that I haven't had Del Taco before. I'm Reel it in, guys. Taco. Yeah. Okay. We're bringing yeah. it back well, in. We're good. We're Got good. Got more questions. D and D. More questions. Okay. What if it's not the Writers Guild that's trying to get their foot in Gondrin, but actually the Assassin's Guild? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> not a thought I had. My brain exploded when I had this thought, so. <laughs> yeah. I was, like, driving, and I'm, like, listening, and I'm, like, oh, my God, what if? What if this is the whole, like, conspiracy theory Chris right just now? had. I went down, like, a huge rabbit hole. Chris was just driving and just had this fucking galaxy brain moment, and they're like, fuck! (laughs) No, but seriously, that would be the perfect way to set your foot in this, like, close-knit society that if this was a tie into the Assassin's Guild, this would be very smart. Also, after the thought, I had some serious questions about the madam of the cooking academy, whose name I cannot recall, but it's in my notes. I've been <laughs> scrolling through the Red Dragonborn Lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grenda Sarfak. Grenda. And what if she's not as sweet as she appears, but really an inside individual trying to get oh, the Assassin's shit. Guild inside. I... Once I thought what? About, like, if they had a tie to the Writers Guild, I'm like, oh, then Grenda could be what? like your inside person i'm like oh my god yeah so this is where my mind went oh I my actually god had that thought about the uh fabric the fabric guild mm-hmm. honestly mm. i did have there was somebody we had met from the fabric i thought maybe, uh, it's, later, maybe it's in later episode well but, wait the like, fabric um you had mm, you, the you... fabric, the paper, and then they were, you know, because we had mentioned about them joining mm-hmm. forces with the Writers Guild yeah. um, because they provided the textiles as well is, as, like, your papers is, and all that. Um, is, so Aveline, it, is Aveline the, the Aveline. textiles? Because um, um, the, the elf customer at the Wizard's Tower was from Aveline. I yes. Oh. Yeah. So, um, so what I mentioned, what I mentioned, it would have been briefly, but it's, um, House... Yes, House Aveline is textiles, and they are not fans of the Writers Guild because yes. the Writers Guild would be moving in on their uh, territory. Yeah. Mm. yeah, territory. I do remember that. I do remember that. <clears throat> but there was somebody in it that 
it could have been it could be episode five but maybe there was some talk or we had talked to somebody and i was like uh that person seems fishy in my head but oh, I'll have to, i gotta re-listen to that episode right so dm are you uh, able to I'm provide just... any insight to this Super. question oh mm-hmm. um okay so yes i do have some insight <laughs> to give you guys if you would like to roll um get it rolling really? in sight no another group where we have a dm who will do that to us so, yeah. <laughs> you ask a question in or out of the okay, roll see if you find out <laughs> um i can give I, you I next to my computer at all times <laughs> The only insight I can give you on this is what I told you in game, which is the Assassin's Guild is extremely insular and extremely secretive. No one knows the ex- how big they are. Uh, it could be anybody. Who knows? It so could be. Yes, yes, That's it's for sure a possibility. It could be anybody. <laughs> and I was like, ooh, Saveline, that person... No, thank you. Oh, yes. Yeah, I do. Um, actually, so fun fact. The Assassin's Guild, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, fun <what>? fact. Oh. <laughs> um, the Assassin's Guild is actually this entire world except for you guys. Every Perfect. single person in this entire world is Mom. in on it except you guys. <laughs> I'm not Mom, surprised. Why? <laughs> Oh, I found a TikTok <laughs> where people are talking about having a town that's entirely dragon. Yes, polymorph into people, <laughs> but they think they're the only dragon in the whole town. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, found, I saw another TikTok with that was kind of like bouncing off of that, and it's I think it, they said it was a sorcerer who had like. Uh, detect magic on and there's faint magic aura literally around everybody and then they cast true sight and they realize yeah. everyone was a dragon <laughs> and they're like get the party out of here get the yeah they're out. like we yeah, need to go. leave yeah, yeah, so yeah. we gotta go we gotta yeah. go I, I want to go there. It's on great. The stove on. <laughs> oh oh look at my wrist it's time to go oh look at my wrist it's uh yep bye yeah. Okay. Um, oh, we Just talked giving our about DM ideas here to fuck with us. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we talked about Fionn's moral dilemma already. Tam! Tam was kidnapped. How are you feeling? Tam! No! Wait. Or at least that's where we were kind of at We've the end failed. of the episode. What, what's going We've through failed. your character's head right now? Just failure to protect the thing that actually matters yeah getting caught up in all this other stuff yeah like i would like to (laughs) (laughs) yeah that's what i wrote um what i wrote on the stream is your son was nabbed tell us about your feelings (laughs) (laughs) all right so gnarls furious so gnarls like (laughs) it's just like pure rage anything else happening there or is it just like seeing red uh rage yeah, yeah, a lot of rage. Nara would like to yeah. rage. <laughs> oh, just like, what the fuck have I done? I've got all my priorities. Like, I need to re-examine my priorities. <laughs> I need to, it's like, just so many tiny little crises happening. And like, but also, we like, Theon knows we need to move forward with whatever is happening. But also, like, really also needs to take a moment to stop and, like, re-examine and the choices she's making and like because that's a big fucking red flag is like you have you have mis uh, calculated your <laughs> priorities here because this should not have ha- been allowed to happen this was a calculated risk but man am i bad at math <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah oh. so yeah Heathen. christ tiny crisis uh I mean, minorly concerned just because of the youth that's been following us, but also just the fact they the were youth taken. that's been following us. <laughs> that's very <laughs> keeping. <laughs> like so matter of fact that it's almost insulting. <laughs> Keithan, do you, like not saying Tam isn't beneficial, but Keithan hasn't seen a whole lot of benefit from Tam being there. So yeah. like. 
Uh, okay. Maybe just like a minor He's pretty concern. good at a fight, but... Food for thought. He did a couple things. Didn't he do a couple things against when we met Jim? Yeah. Anyway. Food for um, thought. Yeah. Uh, if yeah. it hadn't, if it hadn't been for Tan's insistence, you guys might have left uh, Gondrin without eating at uh, Anise Harbor. Just exactly. something to have been blown up in the middle of a city. Exactly. Okay, True. but at least is it better to have eaten and some lost. of the great? Yeah, is it better to have eaten and lost than never have eaten at all? You know what? Yeah, yeah, it would have been because then I wouldn't yeah. have known what I was missing. Oh. <laughs> we, I think, I think I did the math on that, and we did like eighteen GP worth of food. <laughs> <laughs> we finally spend our money on deliciousness and then you just go and, and just ruin it. blow it up. It. Well, oh, great. Listen, all of those friggin' deprived seagulls are finally going to get to the eat because they're not allowed to get fed. So, like, That's right. That's it all right. comes out in the wash with motherfucking nature. And then yeah. you get shit on by that seagull and you just smell that food. <laughs> you just know. You just know. You smell but, and you're like, oh, would be like, yeah. Hi, can you... Yeah. you can you imagine just like um just like having a town that's just like yeah we have the greatest food in the entire world so just a weird consequence that we are now known by is like we have the nicest smelling seagull shit literally in the entire world put that on the postcard <laughs> dear mom uh, i met a seagull, seagull today that smelled great <laughs> i was going to say the seagull shit here smells wonderful <laughs> Love, Fionn. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I know I was, like, very torn on, like, whether Keithan would go see about Tam or not. And it was just like, well, how really connected are they to Tam? Like, not really. Mm -hmm. Like, they're a lot more concerned about, yeah. you know, kind of what's going on. You know, and Tam's but also kind, still kind of afraid that you're going to eat him. I mean, it's really, a little bit. That's quite it's, fair. it's a small anxiety in the back of his mind. <laughs> I yeah. feel like Keefin would eat probably any of us. Yeah, I was party. gonna say we probably all should be. Into <laughs> it. Yeah. Just Keefin yeah. curls up next to you. No, 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 no. Do you? Does Keefin no, sleep? No, no, would punch like Keefin in the face, and there would be no I face was left. Visualizing that just now. That's so yeah. crazy that you just said that. <laughs> He was visualizing I, Narl just punching Keith in the face. The, the fist imprint on yeah. Keith's face. Yeah, I know it would be that sunken in portion. They recognize like a certain degree of danger that they would be approaching on in this case. <laughs> so, you know, she would, you know, evaluate, you know, what would be the effect of my actions. Maybe not go down that route in this case. Yeah, but the question of whether Keithan munches on things in her sleep is a concern because, like, <laughs> on the one hand, like, I would we be, like, bed. willing to keep you warm because, like, we're all friends, question mark, here. Like, yeah. It's, but, like, that's the real are reason you why... you chew on me in your sleep? <laughs> the real reason why you guys keep keep uh, uh, sleep in shifts is not to protect yourself from without, <laughs> but the Keithan within. <laughs> like nibbling on one of our arms like a fucking corn on the cob <laughs> maybe someone needs to keep watch with Keithan at all times <laughs> Keithan is yeah. not allowed to take watch actually oh my god <laughs> let's see what do you smell like yeah. Yeah, not you but oh, you're a you little really closer you're Keithan a little bit of salt <laughs> Oh, yeah, how does Zenro feel about eating that lizard? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, well, take you that. The episode. <laughs> she said it was pretty good, but she's got a party member who's a lizard and probably shouldn't be a lizard around them. <laughs> you know, that was actually, I was really, that was an interesting moment actually of like empathy where I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, it like, was, I, I need to know more about Z. We don't know that much yeah. about Zenro. I need to know more about Zen. I was like, oh, Zen cares. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like, yeah, it kind of belies their, or their exterior belies that. And so it's mm -hmm. interesting. I'll be interested to find out more. I feel like Z is the one that I kind of have the least read on out of the three party members. Good. I'm doing my job well. 
Sneaky, Aha. sneaky. Sneaky, sneak. Just the sneaky, sneaky rogue shit. Yeah. The only thing you know is that they care about their twin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's the right. defining characteristic so far. That one... and also some creepy assassin's guild, something or other. <laughs> Those are like the two main things I've got in your cat little They got file. a shady tie. Mental file. Mm -hmm. um, they know how to read secret question. doors. And this is not even for us. This is for the DM. Yeah. What the hell was that stealth <laughs> check we needed to do for that monk that kidnapped him? Oh. Yeah, and uh, and what I posted on the stream was what the fuck was up with that monk? Because yeah. um, Fion got like a twenty four perception four. check. Was no, like twenty four or something. Yeah, it was like twenty four perception check. Yes. So this monk, I I created them as a monk with very high checks, and um, one of those things uh, they did have access to pass without a trace. And I rolled mm. a 19 with Pass oh. Without a Trace. So that was a 29 Nine. without his own bonus. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is like a 30-something. Yep. Probably. Yep. It was, it was really high. I, um, I didn't even add his own <laughs> bonus in there because I was like, Pass Without a Trace is plus 10. And I rolled a 19. Uh, so, yeah, that was... Uh, that was fun. I am so excited for you guys to interact with this character more. Uh, also, sorry if I'm like looking up. I am like my screen is projected onto a wall in front of me oh, right cool. now. No, that's fine. Um, and so, so yeah, this monk. Uh, well, I mean, um, maybe this monk is some kind of mini boss. Maybe who knows. Level up, level up, level up, level up. I know. Level up, level up. <laughs> so, um, you know, maybe maybe this monk is someone you guys should watch out for. Especially when working with someone like Jeral. This is or Jeral. Well, maybe that's how, yeah. I don't know. That's how they pronounce yeah. it. Oh, by the way, Jarl. what happened to, what happened Jarl. to Jeral? Jeral. What happened to them? They disappeared with the monk, according the to Juno. Oh, but that's a good... Mm -hmm. And they both came through... Never mind. That's a spoiler. Wait. Yeah. Juno what did says... happen to them? Yeah, Juno he's said that the monk but... came in and ran they... off with the, with the person that... The bomber. Uh-huh. That's so weird, because the only person the monk was with was... That we saw. That right. you saw. Right. Right. Was... <laughs> so wait what does but that mean had all of their limbs so and i think when we fought them didn't they didn't they have like a little smoke thing bomb or am i imagining that for the fight you're uh, imagining that for the okay. fight okay okay yeah. <laughs> uh they had they had a flute on them that they yeah. escaped with right oh no i don't know well i don't like that so I, yeah, I'm just I saying that was uh, with the monk and they like just kept booking it. That's what yeah, I that's, figured. And the monk them. like covered their tracks. So I to want to sure get away. So yeah. a thing that I feel like y'all are, are overlooking and I want to talk about this a little bit because I'm surprised that you guys are kind of overlooking it. So the monk had Tam on his shoulder. I didn't miss yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. And and ran away. Yeah. Um, and you, you guys ended up finding Tam behind you. Didn't miss that. Well, this is, yeah. this is the, this is a, isn't this episode five? Oh, I guess this is technically episode five. Yeah. That's why I wasn't going to say Okay. It, but yeah. We, but episode five is, is aired, right? We've got that yeah. up already? Yeah. So it's yeah. not like it's forbidden knowledge. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, oh no, we, we talked, we, like, I said something about that. I was like, oh, so it was an illusion. Like, hmm, okay, what was, happened yeah. there? I think yeah. Z and I had a moment, Z and Fionn mm -hmm. had a moment about that, like, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Note to self. Note to self, that was... I guess... That as, made no sense, and that I guess something. As a DM, I was like, the, I feel like this should be a bigger deal to you guys. Honestly, like, <laughs> I mean, took it as, 
uh, Gerald ran off when the monk broke out, and then the monk had had Tam, and then with the smoke and all that, they just obviously are super stealthy and you know magical, oh. and because of you know a little bit of recognition Keith and had <clears throat> that they're just fast and were able to drop the kid off and book it. Mm. So that's like all Keith and like understand. Yeah, yeah, that's what Keith and thinks. So that's why they're like, all right. Gerald already booked it. Why would they stay? Like, if they got yeah. an open door and this person broke them out, <clears throat> just like, you know, dump yeah, dump the kid and sneak in, dump well, the kid and yeah. run. Gerald would be like, yeah. I'm getting out of here. You do whatever you're going to do. And then the monk is like, I'm going to take this, you know, as time, essentially. I can mm. delay this group and then I'm going to, you know, deal right. with this, I'm this kid. That and maybe we'll learn. Yeah. So, but I yeah. guess since the DM mentioned it, also thought that. Um, this Gerald could be kind of low on the totem pole, maybe, and this monk came in and was mm-hmm. like, you fucking idiot, and knocked him unconscious, maybe turned him into Tam as a thing. I don't know mm-hmm. why they would pick Tam, but Tam. Well, I mean, I could see a lot of reasons, because, like, we really, then, really don't right. have Tam. Yeah. yeah, you guys, like, have a child with you, um, so, yeah. like, you're... Yeah. Uh, Tam's not but Tam. The thing that Oh shit! Oh my god! Well, what? okay, but but I don't know. I don't know how well. That's a really Jesus interesting question. Like, what this could be? So here, so here's the reason that, that Fion was like, oh, it was an illusion, was because Fion couldn't smell. Fion was a wolf and couldn't smell Tam. That's right. That's anywhere right. over there. So like, but like, can when you like, well, no, like disguise self wouldn't change your scent. So I don't know no. what kind of spells would change. There may be some advanced spells that might Polymorph? change, this, but like probably that's not. That's what I'm wondering. But, like, probably that's not an issue because no. of the scent, like, her ability to check scents. But also that's something true. to just keep in mind just in case. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I don't know why, like, oh, why would the monk have changed Gerald, like, into Tam? Because that would be kind of coaxing us after him. Or Which what they want. Or we know well, maybe. Well, I can tell right. you that also hmm. in the mind of a villain, like, he, um, having a child on them is also a good bargaining chip. Like, mm. I, you know, true. you guys, um, I feel that like, worked. um, that like, worked. like how the, the monk used Tam, you know, like putting the, putting the weapon to Tam immediately made you stop and allowed him yeah. to escape. That's true. So. Well, it might not have ever been Tam, so Tam was never in any real danger. We yeah, just, he would just tied up and in. stuffed into a broom closet. Mm-hmm. Like, you I know, mean, like if. Even if, like, that was still, like, even if you're telling us, like, that is what happened, like, from Narl's perspective, like, seeing Tam endangered, like, they would have reacted the way that they reacted. So, you know, like, even just having this knowledge, like, now, I don't think it would have changed their reaction to it. I agree. I feel like Narl would be, like, real kid or not, like, if you believe it's the kid, or even, like, the possibility Mm -hmm. of being Tam, Narl's like, all right, like, I'll, I'll wait. Yeah. Unless like you have like infinite shit. evidence. Yeah. Girl doesn't know yeah. about any of that stuff. Oh, uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, and certainly like Fionn's guilt over having left Tam to possibly get kidnapped is not changed. So those emotional responses are still there regardless. Well, luckily, but... luckily for you, Tam doesn't know you did that. <laughs> Well, I mean, he, he, he's pretty independent, and he probably was just, like, he was just waiting. By another mother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, didn't, he definitely didn't see it that way, but, like, we as the, like, quote-unquote adults saw it that way. <laughs> well, no, that's, like, that's but what I... the thing is. Like, you're still dealing with this mentally, but at least Tam doesn't know it happened. True. <laughs> True. Because that would be so... way worse. <laughs> just try to keep trying not to turn into a tiger again. <laughs> oh, God. They're so useful. It's Wolf true. was good, though. He oh, that's the, but that's it. a... Technically, we're not supposed to be discussing the next episode, but it kind of flowed into it. Yeah. No, yeah. It's, I, I just didn't want to cover a whole lot. Yeah. 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 yeah, we're good. Okay. All right, friends. Well, those <sighs> are all the questions I have. Thanks for mm. hanging out with me. Do um, you all have questions before we leave? Yeah. Anybody Do y'all? Sure. For sure. Back? 
this is the time to win. I know. Do also, we have to? Whenever we do these, you can always like leave questions in the chat, and we will answer them. Yeah. Yes, that's kind of totally. that is kind of. That is kind of the point, um, is to, uh, well, hopefully when we have enough people that want to ask questions, the point yeah. of this thing is for you guys to have, ask questions for us to answer, uh, yeah. but we are supplying our own for now. <laughs> I mean, we definitely yeah. have our own curiosity, too. Yeah, like, also I have that. some stuff I want to ask about episode, like, five, so, you know, yeah. like, also, I've definitely like... got my little questions, too. Just, like, the hangout sessions, because we were mm -hmm. talking... Like sometimes we'll spend time before an an episode or before recording, and we'll just do this where we'll talk and we're like we should just do this mm -hmm. live, yeah, yeah, and interact yeah. with all. It's yeah. a good way to like disrupt up... the episode and try to think about yes. critical think, critically think about stuff and the yeah. things that we played and maybe work through like emotions, like Fion, like if you're going through some things, maybe uh -huh. talking it out loud will help. It actually did. There's a couple of questions you asked today that I was like, oh, that helped clarify oh, yeah. a couple of things for me. I can't remember. I got to go back and think about what one, one of them was particularly important. Yeah. yeah. But I'm, I had a lot well, of Well, it's one, a good thing right? this so goes what it was. on YouTube. <laughs> hey! I'll be able to rewatch and make sure that I can catch up on all that boop, boop, stuff that I just ways. forgot because I got a little drunk. <laughs> <laughs> today was an energy drink kind of night. I've been very busy. Mm. I'd like to stay awake. That's fair. Um, That's fair. But also, I do want to say I'm very tired. <laughs> I want to yeah. lay down for a minute. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> I think we're we're good. Um, catch our new episodes airing. What's our ne next one would be the Sunday after this. Yep. Correct? That is okay. correct. Uh, on Sundays at 4 p.m. Pacific time. And catch up with all of our old episodes, which is not that many. It's just five so far. So very accessible on the YouTubes under Ladies and Gentle Dice. And follow us on the Twitters at Gentle Dice. We're also going to be coming out with a Discord soon. So we will announce that when it is ready. Boop, boop. That's Almost all. There, guys. Almost there. Almost there. Almost yeah, done. Yeah. Whenever, Almost whenever done. it's good, we'll, we'll announce it. Yep. All right. Well. Got to make it right. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Out. Thank Thanks you, for everybody, for joining friends. us. I will see Bye. you all later. Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs>